<laughs> That's a title. Oh, I like it. That's a title. I like it. So how's your Morio Cho radio uh, ringtone serving you, Wolves? Brother, brother, neighbor, uh, whatever his name is, is, is keeping me happy. I think it's the guy who was the announcer DJ from fucking Gaim. Oh, I, that could, like, I, I'd believe it. Like, I feel in my heart. It's me. It's giving me a good morning. Oh, hey, loser brigade! Could you imagine if Shigekyo came back with Kira? No. <laughs> she get like Kira like, would be, be like, "Ew, be gross." Yeah. Ew, Either way, I, these two have no reason to. Why would you dye your hair flesh colored? Yeah. That is it's the fine. fucking creepiest. So is that even? I a like how they've they've stopped even explaining what. Or why? No, shut up. We all know. But yeah, because we're at the point of the game. Like, no, go get the parts back now. Yeah, just beat them and beat, just go beat, get them. Just beat go, go get them. We back. know the deal. Uh, I'm a little bit further in Jajolion. Jajolion. So I, I know a little bit more. How about much? What's going a little on. bit more. Uh, there is a giant picture of um a family tree. Yeah, and it is interesting. Okay. It is really. Really interesting because it's like that's what happened. This is what happened. Yeah, straight up. Like, like so you know that Johnny is uh, is uh, uh, the grandpa. Yeah, and it's, and like and yeah. this is who he had like and who's the Josuke of this world? Yeah. Oh, that's not what I was expecting. That's not what I was expecting at all. It is very. very Did you find out what the deal with Yoshikage Kira is? Uh, not completely. Not yet. Okay. No, but I know who he is in that family timeline. Yeah. Um, and he is the, he is the sibling, but he's in the place where Josuke is, so he'd technically be the jo Josuke, yeah. but not, he's not because Josuke's a girl. Yeah. Uh, wait, soft and wet and ball breaker. Okay, yeah, whatever, we'll just do this. Is that a custom? Uh, no, it's not. No, it's not special. Um, yeah, man, so you get some weird, weird, interesting shit going on there, and, uh... So, you know, so, the my favorite part of us doing this JoJo LP is starting to manifest, and it is... It is dank memes showing up on our subreddit... That's correct. ...that are just screenshots of arguments about Kring Crimson. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. It is just screen grabs of text message arguments on people's phones, or you saw, fucking... So Fucking uh, 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 Facebook arguments or forum posts that, where it's like, no, this is how that King Crimson latest works. breakdown where it's like he uses the sleeping slaves. He breakdown. uses epitaph because yeah. that's another thing I, I didn't bring it up. But yeah. um, the the second uh, personality that that Diavolo has, yeah, uh, it, it, he can he uses a stand as well that is not King Crimson. Yeah. It's Epitaph. He looks through his hair's bang, yeah. and it shows him the future for about five seconds. Yeah. So, it's like he uses that to see the future, and then everyone is forced to do that action. Yeah, because it's the future. And then he's the only one who knows what that action is, so he can break it, break, he can do something he different. He can use King Crimson to, ridiculous. to do anything That's insane. I don't instead of- I, yeah. I call horseshit shenanigans. I refuse to think. Oh, well, well, you got a problem with that one? I don't think that's what it is at all. What, so what, you what, know? how does it work? It just works? And there was another dude who was like, his theory <laughs> is like, you use epitaphs yeah. to the, so that you see the future. Yeah. But then when you actually, um, you, when you see the future, you're forced to, well, oh God. <laughs> You you see the future and then you jump forward in time. Yeah. But everyone's me loses their memory. Okay. And then you are sort of able. Oh yeah. <sighs> you're, you're winning me. Oh my god! There it is. There's that gap. I finally saw it. There it is. It's it's huge it's, and gross. Yeah. Gappy's got the thickest gaps, yo. His his soft and wet can steal physical properties. Okay. Not not metaphysical. Not property. metaphysical concept. Okay, that's a very important mistake. Because we were having that moment, like, what if you steal the concept of memory or life or like no? Okay, physical properties. Yes. Friction, boiling points. Uh, fuck it, you know what? Uh, sense of of vision. Okay. Is 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 a big one as well. Sure. That's um, a good one. Yeah. But um. But could he beat Shigechi's harvest? No way. No one can be harvest. So like. Harvest is SSSSS -S 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 class. I, 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 I remember watching, rewatching the the recent episode that came out where Kira just, 
close the to get you the fuck up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like all I could think of during that, it's like if Shigechi had made it to adulthood, he could have been like the strongest stand user ever in the world. <laughs> because think of all the stand users that are great fighters. Harvest just moves through Killer Queen's punches and just stabs him in the fucking neck and could kill him in one second. Now, the other thing to consider is this concept of uh, actual stand development. Yeah. And where Harvest could have gone, in theory. Yeah, because Koichi's Echoes goes all over the place. Oh, man, and, and, does it go And places. Dio's world and Star Platinum, like, did all sorts of crazy shit. So, it meant Harvest, with the, where the individuals are, are getting stronger and stronger? Yeah. Oh, he's having a stage show on his own? Yeah, it's so cool. That's great. Yeah. But we'll never know. She gets, she's super dead. Dude, he, I, like, in the anime, he dies so hard. Like, it, it is so much harder in, uh, uh, animated form than it was in the, in the, in the manga. Because in the manga, it was, like, five panels total. Cause right? He, he gets the first one that implodes parts of his brain onto his face. And then, then he gets vaporized. On the door and handle. And then his soul. And then his soul <laughs> gets it as a ghost. Just, he just starts exploding. And, it, and it's a slow one. Yeah, for no reason. It's so mean. <laughs> God damn, does she get you fucking like, yeah, And yeah. the implication of that is is like horrifying to me in my core. Like, the fear of death constantly permeates my life because the idea of not existing is horrific to me. But, so the idea of the soul is appealing. I don't particularly believe in it, but it's appealing, right? Sure. So in a universe like JoJo, where people do have souls, there are ghosts, people have souls, there's an afterlife, right? Yep. It's implied that Killer Queen annihilates your soul as well. <laughs> oh, there we because go. Boy, of, boy, boy, because of that. Yo. Yeah, <laughs> okay, I see Right, it yeah. erases you from everything. Like, the way he should get you suffered, though, like, it, it, I mean, it's not, I don't think it's like, that it annihilates your soul, but it's kind of like he he was going to heaven in a really painful way. Yeah, well, he was going up. So that's nice. right. The hands didn't grab him, and he wasn't stuck with a grudge. So on somebody Earth. pointed out to me because we had the the talk about like Kira getting uh, like is another one bites the dust a requiem stand, and the answer is no. And uh, I saw a pretty decent like breakdown of that. Stabbing your stand with an arrow gets you a requiem. Stabbing yourself gets you a new stand power. Yes. yes. <laughs> and so if only Akira had aimed a little bit to the left, that's all. He would have, have been totally unbeatable. Um. Also, uh, uh, what I was gonna say is the fact that he didn't stay in the in the alleyway with the, the girl that got murdered there, yeah. Remy. Uh, uh, Raymond, I forget, but whatever. Raymond, that's me. Yeah. Uh, Ray, means, Ray means, Ray means probably means he doesn't love his parents that much. Because he didn't have enough of a grudge from dying at that point to not stick around. You know what I mean? Uh, like, the willpower that she had to stick around was because of, like, she's like, someone needs well, to... Well, she's also the first, like... The first, like, victim with the hand stuff. Fine. Yeah. It's just like, why, you know, why, why doesn't he get uh, to stay there? You bought that pose. I, totally I saw you do pose. it. Because his, uh, his uh, default is terrible. Yeah, I saw it. It was the worst. Fucking... Jiro's cooler than that. See Raimi's in the intro now? Yeah, of course. She's hidden, like, behind Rohan, but she's there. Jiro deserves No, better. no, I don't, I don't mean in the, um... Oh god, I don't mean in the shot where it zooms in on her. I mean in the shot in the photo, like right at the beginning. Oh. Like she appeared behind Rohan when she showed up in the story. I didn't. And so did the dog. Did you catch that in the outro on the diamond at the on the last last frame? Yeah. You get uh you get Jotaro and you get a turtle in one of the, the reflections. Whoa. And then it switches over to um Kira and you see um uh, a, a mouse. Yeah, that, man, that's amazing. And the mouse is straight up. I, I, I think if it's talk, if we're talking about m mice in in this part, yeah, you're right. Re it's referencing a uh, fucking alien dude. Yeah. I can't wait for people to get that. That's like relatively soon. That's in a month or two. For the sake of not like, for the sake of liking the part, I assume he's a human. No. <laughs> <laughs> 
with a no! stupid stance. No, no, no. He is an alien. <laughs> he is an alien. His stand. That is the best, man. His stand is ridiculous. No, it's but not he, but, a stand. But here's the problem with that theory, and I can't can, I can't ignore this. <laughs> yeah, like this is what this is my head cannon. I can't ignore but this. You disproved it for yourself. He does not see stands. Yeah, he can't see them. There's a whole part where he's looking and Star Platinum up, um, um, Crazy Diamond is right in front of him, and he can't see it. And I'm like, fuck. He is a space alien. <laughs> Yeah! Yeah, it's heavy weather! What up? Here to kill the KKK. That's a good plan. I love that the evil version is the one with the rainbow. Yeah. That's so fucking good. look at it. Man, his hair is stupid. It's not... Alright, so... <laughs> I saw another theory, by the way, speaking of all these JoJo theories, and the one that I saw was, this one was pretty interesting. Oh, nice. You can play as Akira and cool. Sketchy. Oh, this is how you get them on your side. Yeah. Nice. We're going to get everybody now. Oh, they're like, oh, we are evil. Well, Akira is anyway, but uh, but I hate that Dio guy. He made me crazy. All right, I'll, I'll keep this crew. Um, so the theory I saw was that... Uh, the end of part six is not as depressing. Yeah, as I read that. I read that. Yeah. Though, though it's a big. Post. I read the whole fucking thing. That must have been nonsense to it you. It was a little bit confusing. <laughs> How is that entire post not just? It nonsense? was a little bit confusing because it, dude, it has so much specific detail yeah. in it, and it basically states that like, no, not everyone is dead or, or annihilated. It's just that this is a new universe in which Poochie didn't fuck up their lives. So Emporio gets weather report and kills Poochie with it, but before he does, Poochie begs for him to release him and he'll and he'll leave him alone. He does the, the villain bang, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, he doesn't get it. Poochie fucking dies. No, I'm a big coward. Please don't kill me. Poochie, his whole goal was, his whole thing was if you kill me now, my goals won't It'll be for nothing. Because you didn't kill me after the events that had already transpired. Exactly. So You're the killing me beforehand. So if the loop doesn't complete, then everything will be undone. Yeah. He dies, the loop theoretically doesn't complete, but then Emporio gets sucked into a new future. Yeah. So everyone just kind of assumed, oh, okay, well, fuck, the world reset again. Yeah. But actually, this theory was purporting that, uh, purporting that he didn't reset the future. That jump was the world going back to where it was. Yeah. But this is a world without Pucci. Yeah, in which Pucci just basically, he ends up dying, like, in the Star Dust Crusaders era, or whatever. He, and no, 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 he dies, he dies at the beginning of part six. Yeah. But before any of his plans could have come into fruition, in the Pucci Universe. Yeah, and because he died in the Poochie verse, that removes him from existence in the real universe. Yeah. So when they jump back into the real universe without Poochie, everything's great. And Jolene <laughs> is Irene, and Irene lived a happy life where Jotaro didn't have to go hunting around for stand users, and the world was fine, and everything was great. <laughs> yeah. So all we're seeing is the exact same souls in, in a, a world if. without Poochie. And, and Emporio is sad because they're not the people that he knows. With his, and with he, those memories. He lost, like, everything's better. It's objectively better, but his people are gone. Yes. Like, his versions of But those. it's still their souls. Yeah. And, like, that is, is there's evidence that when he goes to the Poochie-verse, you see fake Jotaro and fake Jolene that don't look like the same people. Yeah. They're wearing similar clothes, but that's it. And the fact that you see that, and Pucci and uh, Emporio doesn't give a shit about those people, yeah. means he can tell their souls are not the real like, yeah. souls, you know? So that's a whole thing as well, and but it's like- But if that's the case, what's up with this new universe? Yeah. And this new universe is not the universe at the end of Part 6. Yeah, that I had it's a, been confirmed that it is, it is I a completely, different thing. I completely didn't get that part, and there's no way to get that until you get further into Jojolian. Um, and it's like, no, something else happened. Because you're so far in the past during Steel Ball Run that you're yeah, assuming whatever, but... anything can happen. Yeah. But it doesn't, you know? Uh, and yeah, so that, theoretically, that world we left behind with Irene, the irene -iverse, The Prime Universe. Is the original yeah. JoJo universe. It's, it's literally the, the fucking Star Trek Prime Universe stuff. Yep, yep. And as dumb as it is, the whole thing where Araki didn't know if he wanted Steel Ball to be Jojo or not yeah. is just like him changing universes. Yeah. 
we could always go back and revisit uh, like, the Irene verse. My, my, I, I really like Eric deciding to. to change shit halfway through is like absurd and makes for some really goofy shit. Like number one with a bullet is how did Dio get it in that coffin, right? Cause shut up. Just read the read the little in between chapter factoids. He shows you the inner coffin. Shut up. Hold on. What's happening with the report though? Uh, fuck it. Uh, but like, yeah, also, it's fine. Also, like, what the world was supposed to be originally. Yeah. Do you ever read that? Yeah, a, a collection of everyone. The, the world was supposed to be the entire tarot deck of the Arcana in as one. a single stand. Yeah. And then Eric, he was like, "No, wait, that's stupid. I can't." How am I supposed to write a fucking character that can beat that? That's impossible. You know what's fucking better? The fact that, uh, when, when, um, uh, fucking Abdul dies, yeah. he was supposed to get replaced. By a whole horse? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Your friend's murderer has joined the party. And then he was like, well, people seem to really want Abdul back, and a whole horse is too similar to Paul Narev. And, uh... Okay, Avdol's back. Sorry, guys. Time for me to play weather report for the rest of the fucking game. <laughs> yeah, that much, huh? <laughs> no, but god damn it. He's cool. Man, he just wanted to live a happy life, and then it turned out he was fucking his sister. It's not his fault. Oh. And Poochie was like, That's yo... That's a bad one. Yeah, and so Poochie tried to stop it. Poochie was like, yeah, dude... But Poochie tried to stop it by getting the KKK involved. And then it got rough. He shouldn't have done How that. How did Poochie, like, convince the KKK to do anything? Because he was like, oh, look, yeah, black people, go get him. And they're like, thanks, black guy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a fucking sick moon in the back. It is. That's, like the, that's the same one that we liked from Cairo. Rut row. You can do it, Valentine. Oh god damn it. So so Dio the tone. Dio can just He can pull you he, he yep. can see it anywhere. Yep. I have you have to wonder if the Dio gone to heaven of this world uses White Snake to just take discs from others. <laughs> yeah. Why not? What the fuck is stopping him? <laughs> Why not? Like, think about a world where you don't have anyone that's a stand user, and then Dio in this form exists, because no one- <laughs> yeah. That is God! Yeah, yeah. Like, parallel universe in which stands don't exist, except for me. You know, that- that is God! Yeah. Because they'll live forever, too. In this reality, <laughs> if we had the ability to, like, get Jesus powers, then we could probably see that Jesus, or God, was is just Dio. Is just some guy. Yeah. That fucking, he got there first. I found my own corpse in the, in the race. <laughs> oh, God, dude, you've got no chance, man. Nothing. Why don't you go ask your boy Darby, since you keep telling him everything? Yeah, like, that's so, like... Why? <laughs> Darby knows more than Poochie does. Darby is the truest of Dio's friends. Yeah. You think Dio would uh, tolerate being beaten at gambling? <laughs> uh, I don't mean would he lose, Dio, because... Dio wouldn't gamble because there's nothing to gain from it that would help him unless he had to gamble for his ambition, mm -hmm. in which case he would cheat to ensure that he won, because it's all about his ambition. See, like, there's no point, there's no fun in gambling. Like, he's not gambling for fun, he's gambling to get the thing. I feel like in the very first episode of part one, he's totally gambling for fun. Is he? But I think it's for money, I think it's for cash. Cause he Cause just- he's broke. He wants to, you know, he wants to fucking weasel his way in and take over jo jo Jonathan's friends and... By the way, try not to think too hard about this one. <laughs> okay. How do you solve the entire game's problems when you run into Dio with all the Joe stars? Kill Jonathan. You take Jonathan's body and you hurl it at Dio. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was thinking, like, timeline stuff, but that's wrong. It's like, no, here you go. 
because we've established that the sliding reality thing is yeah. what's happening here. Yeah. So you just grab the body that he's currently on and well, you throw it no, at him. No, because in this reality, he beat Jotaro, right? So it's Jonathan's lower half, Dio's head, and Joseph's blood, which enables it to be Dio's new body. What the fuck ever. Shut, you know that would be the real thing. Johnny and Jonathan are not the same person because it's a, a reimagining. It's yeah. not. It's not. A, it's not parallel. He never overwrote you completely, which means you overwrote him somewhat. Also, also, here's another thing that you don't want to think about too much. Okay. Uh, what's his, Valentine's sliding between realities in 1890? Yeah. Dio defeats Jotaro in uh, 1990, 1991. 1989. Why the fuck would he encar encounter this timeline in the future? Um... Yes! Magic. magic. Yes! I do it for just... Dude! Valentine is the fucking best. I like... I like... An Replace I the word justice <clears throat> with Murica. I, I... I like... You have no chance, but you're awesome for trying. I... I love... The... The villain... Who is not malicious? He's just idealistic and wrong. <laughs> that's what he would like, dude. Faced with the end, <clears throat> faced with the end. That's what he would say, because that's what he does say. Yeah. It's like, oh, you're a scumbag piece of shit. You hid that gun on you. Everything I do, I do it for America. Miracle. Did he just, like, after annihilate Valentine from whatever? By moving into a different reality, or did he actually fight him? <gasps> oh, no! The handkerchief! His dad went to war, and he held that on him, even though he was a prisoner of Dude, war. Dude, he just bamfed him from... His dad was a prisoner of war. And when he got out, he still had that on him. So yeah. he had to hold that on his person for years secretly by stuffing it in places. He hid that watch up his ass. And then he gave it to his kid. And, and after, or rather, it came back to his kid because it's like, look how much of a hero your dad See, is. See, usually I wouldn't go for this kind of ass pull that I'm going to go for right now. Ass pull? Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 but because we're playing a JoJo game and, and thoughts are reality in this, in this game... Thoughts are reality. That's correct. Um, and Dio's The World Over Heaven can change anything <laughs> and erase anything. Yep. Um, and he annihilates Funny Valentine uh, from existence in all realities forever in perpetuity, basically, right? And that's fucking horrible. But he runs into an old philosophical argument about God's omnipotence and omniscience. He can't one million percent remove Valentine as long as he can still remember who Valentine is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. Yeah, yeah, God and that, knows. There, there's a there's a platonic uh, 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 like argument about like the shadow world and the idea, you know, the shadow on the but cave. But guess what? God yeah. also remembers everyone who never existed. Yeah. Okay. So now what? But like. Valentine is not is not completely gone as long as Dio remembers him and Dio still has the ability to undo what he did. Oh. Right? In th yeah, okay. I guess he which ain't gonna he, happen. even if he only exists in Dio's mind, he still technically exists in some also, form. Also in the Araki verse. Yeah. Uh if you kill somebody, you undo everything they've ever done. <laughs> like, anything that their stand has done, and all of it, everything just gets unmade, and yeah. it's back to normal, so that's, everything's good. That's weird. By the way, how about this for, try this one on for size. Oh no, Dio is causing my mom to die because her stand is killing her. And she can't control it. Hey Poochie, you want to knock this stand disc out of my mom's head and save her life? Yeah, sure, man. Here you go. Cool. <laughs> Imagine if back then, since oh. Dio and Poochie were a thing. Okay. 
if th if Dio just said, "Look, stop, stop," I'll just here's my boy. I'll, I'll just fix your mom. No problem. We'll just fix her in like two seconds. Like I know I hate you, Joe Stars, but here I got you. <laughs> Could you imagine? They'd still be after him. Though. Of course they would, but for way less like motivational reasons. And then they would lo maybe that's what happened. They'd be because they'd lose. <laughs> If they, didn't, if they didn't care that much, <laughs> they'd be after him just because Dio. Yeah. They wouldn't, you know. Yeah. But the whole my mom is on the line thing. He's like, no, no, no. Here, I took the disc. She's good. <laughs> I wonder what it would be. It's probably some version of Hermit Purple. All, all the, all yeah, the yeah, old Joe Stars yeah. had had vines. Yeah, stands. it's it's the it's the Hermit Purple with the roses and the thorns. Mm -hmm. The evolution of that, though, I'd love to see. It's possible? I was talking to somebody about this. It's possible that Hermit Purple is, like, a reference to, like, lupus. Uh, I read a theory that it's possible. Oh, hold on a minute. Diavolo. He's one of the weirder-looking ones. Yeah. And he only looks that way because he pulls his shirt off, and his hair comes down, and he gets a little taller. Don't worry about it. Um, the reason I say that is because, like, the international, like, lupus symbol... Is a purple butterfly, and like Holly's symptoms are of a lupus attack. Oh, like that. Okay. <laughs> well, in the in the big in the big Araki is the Bible uh, yeah. breakdown imager album. Yeah. Uh, Hermit purple is a reference to the crown of thorns. Okay. Okay. Um, and everything else is just biblical. That makes sense. Dio does mean God after all. Yeah. So you know, Giorno, the son of God. Fights Diavolo, the devil, <laughs> yeah. and, and then part seven's about Jesus. What do you, what do you, you know? What more do you want there? Um, and every time I would talk about the the cause doesn't matter versus effect doesn't matter thing, there's a specific person that gets in touch to Just say works. that I'm to say that I get it wrong each time. Yeah. But I'm actually pretty sure I'm not getting it wrong because it just works. The th the things you're doing in the, in the time that gets deleted in incognito mode. <laughs> In yeah. real life, incognito oh, God, mode. Going into that one. Yeah, oh, cool. those actions still exist. They happen. No, they don't happen. They don't happen. They get removed. But you still have the thing. The that creepy got. porn you you visited. Yeah. is gone. You getting that porn is gone, but you have the porn still in your head. Yeah. But then the result. Now, now you can act on that porn. But gold experience. Re Chrome. Only knows how to get the porn. Chrome Requiem <laughs> is endless porn. Uh, it's, it's a browser that has nothing but porn on it. I can't. No, it's a browser that just never stops downloading porn, but you can never watch it. You can never watch it. <laughs> you it always starts and it buffers forever. How about that? We'll take it. Joe's just fucking stupid. <laughs> Think about this one. Um, would would. Would would Pearl Jam be able to fix Dio being evil? <laughs> no, because the vampire, the vampirism yeah, was there before. Okay, there, there, what that was the way out. But could it fix other people from being evil? The vampirism was there before. because then you get to talk about well, is it their brain chemistry? Right. Uh, what 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 went wrong? Yeah. yeah. And and if it was like Pucci, he, is he evil? He's just convinced. Yeah. It, uh, Poochie and, um, and Funny Valentine are convinced. They're yeah. idealistic. Yeah. You know what's fucking awesome, too, about the whole world thing being created without Poochie theory or yeah. whatever? Uh, Nar- uh, uh, Anasui- mm -hmm. Hold on, let me just- everything's good, yeah. Anasui, like, totally murdered his ex. Uh -huh. And is in jail for- for that. Okay. Uh, when he- in the future where he's totally, uh, anarchist, like, he's not the same guy or whatever, without Poochie, He's in a happy relationship with Irene, so he never murdered his ex. So somehow Poochie's existence is indirectly related <laughs> to him murdering the fuck out of his girlfriend. Oh, yeah, I guess. Just butterfly eff effect. They... Questions? Um... Good. Moving along. Why does he change so drastically? <sighs> It never made any sense, but he just pulls his shirt off. He realizes some at some point that the best cover he could ever have is to just be a loser. Is to be is 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 um, what you call it? Uh, uh, um, 
multiple personality disorder. Okay. To the point where even he doesn't know who his true identity is. Ah, <laughs> that's good. Right. So DID. This is oh, so Oh, I love how he leans back and and Anasi leans forward. That's really good. Um, yeah. So so he uses that as cover. And well, how, wait, how, does he intentionally do it to himself? Yes. And then while he's in the form of um, uh, d uh, whatever the, the loser, fuck, kid. loser kid, um, do Dopio, uh, he gives instructions to Dopio. Hold on, I need this in my life. Wait, he gives instructions to Dopio. Hold on, hold on, I, I just need this. Boom! <laughs> I love it. All right. He gives him instructions on what to do via making Dopio hallucinate that he's seeing telephones and inanimate objects. Okay? I need it again. So he picks up random objects and he thinks they're telephones. And he listens to them. Because and it's Diavolo's instructions. Exactly, because he's the underboss and Diavolo the boss is telling yeah, him what okay, to do. Okay. Um, so that's how he basically talks to himself. Anything else is him straight up not knowing. Oh. Hold on. Is that... Okay, I have the clouds on me. Yeah, what does that mean? I can probably do a bit more. Very weird. I don't understand what he's doing. I didn't even have to get go heavy weather on him. I'll do it next time. Uh... And I have a very important question to ask. <laughs> uh, about that tattoo slash birthmark on Weather Report's neck. What's the deal with that? 